Foul was on Justin McBride. That's one of the things Kevin Ali told us today as Calhoun from three is good. Good way to start for UConn, but they want to try to get to the free throw line more. This game, even though they like to score, they don't want UConn getting out in transition. The freshman Hamilton down low to Brima. Boatwright got a hand on that one in a turnover. Well, he's a steel machine, one of the best defenders actually in the country when it comes to stealing the ball. Tremendous defense in that NCAA tournament run last year. Calhoun for three. It's good. His second triple of this half, and it's 8-2 UConn. He'll take another shot. This time it will not go down. McBride is blocked by Brima. Brima averages two and a half blocks per game, and he's got his first one early tonight. Hamilton from deep. You bet. Hamilton. Hamilton averaging 10 points and close to six rebounds, and this is freshman season. He'll take a three and hit it. He leads the team this year with 15 per night. He can put it in, there's no doubt. Deep three, boat right. Oh, it's raining threes here in stores. Make a coach really salty. Yeah, he said that is not how UConn plays basketball. Calhoun, that is how UConn plays basketball, at least tonight. Another three. Works on the big fella. Calhoun. Oh, look out! Oh, my goodness. Team at Gamble, they need shots to try to quiet the crowd in Central Florida. Can't hit, and here come the Huskies. Boat right over to Hamilton! Back to back! Timeout, UCF. This place is up for grabs right now. Omar Calhoun going baseline. Somebody's got to cut that baseline off. Once you let a guy go there, there's no help, and he's going to completely just flush it. And then in the other end, they got a little helter-skelter and a great job by Ryan Boltwright giving that back to the right guy. Good feel for the game. It was a nice finish by Hamilton, but that transition play was made by Ryan Boltwright, knowing who needs to get that ball back. Dynamic score coming off the bench, and Donnie Jones said, I like having veterans come off the bench. He's a junior. As Boltwright fires in another. Well, it's not working tonight because of the way UConn's playing. You gotta change up and get out on those three-point shooters. Boltwright wants to push it up to Purvis. He goes right to the hoop. Count it, and one. Hartford this year. They have to go on a run and they have to beat SMU, and they have to beat Cincinnati. They have to get the quality wins, and they got to win a lot of them. No look pass. Nolan nowhere to go. Back out. Purvis for three. That kind of night for UConn. Six to shoot. Step back three. Oh, my goodness. The ninth three-pointer of this half for UConn. Oh, right. That was partially deflected and it still goes in. This is ridiculous now. That was good defense. If this kid ever gets in good shape, he can be a really good player. I, that was a very, very good move, and it looks like he has a pretty good touch. Facey for three. It's good. Hamilton to Brima. Cool play. I think he'd like to see his team be aggressive down low. Just like that. He's in, it's a must that he drops a lot more. He's sucking wind right now, let me tell you. Nice dish again, Hamilton to Prime. Prima comes away with it. Two on one for UConn. Boatwright to Facey with the facial. They've been hurt this year. And a lot of times that's where young players really don't understand the game is defensive. Hamilton off the glass. He's a starter, but he's got more experience. Six-point game. Boat right. Oh, tough shot. They needed that one. Wow. Boat right. Nice dish to Prima. Purvis hops off the bench for UConn. He'll check in next whistle. Boat right, the senior leader for two. 
referees in the foul. He got plenty of time to win three point shot. Hamilton spinning and passing to Brima. To explode with one more field goal. They feel like it could be the dagger. Five to shoot. Purvis reverse land. 